Good morning. My name is Michael Leeserman here with the Trial Guide's Tip of the Day this Tuesday, July 11th, 2023. Today's tip comes from winning medical malpractice cases with the rules of the road technique. Patrick Malone with Rick Friedman. And here to read today's tip is Patrick Malone. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Michael. Here's my tip. The advocate's praise for the American system of justice is an important piece of a good closing argument. The goal is to elevate the jury, to get them to see their function as not merely a fact finder between private disputants, but as the enforcer of public values. In a malpractice trial, where the two sides usually have very different social stations outside the courtroom, it's also important to stress their equality inside the court. Wow, lots of wisdom here. Um, I, I think of a couple of things. One is I think of all the different arguments really trying to get to what you've talked about, elevating the jury, whether it's noting their role as a hero, whether it's talking about, um, you know, I've heard people say the, uh, no one here is more important than you, not the president of the United States. You're the, the only ones that can decide the facts in this case. Um, elevating the jury. So why do we do that? And what are the, some of the ways specifically um, that our, our viewers can do that? Well, one way that I often do it, um, we have a standard jury instruction in the District of Columbia. I think we also have it in uh, Maryland where, where I uh, also often practice. And it just says, um, uh, all the litigants are uh, equal before the law. Uh, so that, you know, the plaintiff is equal to the defendant and nobody's better than anybody else because they uh, wear nicer clothes or have more income or whatever the case may be. And I think that it is a very noble concept. You know, all persons are equal before the law. Um, and, you know, it's even on the, uh, uh, the freeze on top of the Supreme Court building, equal justice under law. So it gets to a very important, uh, concept and it helps to diffuse the idea that, uh, that, uh, defendants who often have a much higher social status than the people we represent, uh, that they're deserving of some kind of, uh, special deference. Uh, no, everybody's equal. I love that. And I think it's important that we not only pay lip service that we say that in our closings, but actually that lawyers feel and recognize that. I, I know some lawyers, I think, who will say those words, um, but their actions uh, and sometimes condescending tones don't necessarily match that. So to me, part of elevating the jury is really recognizing their power uh, in the system we have, um, and that on the whole, jurors do the right thing. We're not there to trick them. We, we have to trust them and elevate yeah. them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, all that's uh, good stuff. Another uh, way I often do it, and this may get a little too fancy for some people, but I like to um, give some of the uh, good quotes about the uh, fam uh, quotes from famous people about the jury trial system. One that I use is from uh, the Frenchman, Alexis de Tocqueville, who wrote uh, the famous book, uh, Democracy in America, uh, 150 some, well, actually it's been almost 200 years ago. Uh, and what he said was that uh, the civil court system uh, is was an important educational uh, locus uh, of, uh, educating the public in civic duties in, in, in the United States. The other thing he said that was really important is that voting in a jury room on a case is equally as important as going into the polling booth and voting for uh, who you want to be your uh, political leaders. So there's a lot of meat there that I, I think uh, lawyers are are wise to try to uh, to try to to get there. It also it excites people's uh, potentially 
their empathy towards towards uh, your client. The idea that we're all in this together, we're all citizens, you're doing a civic duty here. This, you're not just like arbitrators uh, of, a, of a private dispute, but you're serving the public good. Uh, that's an ennobling concept that's important. Yeah, uh, the, the nobility of, of serving. Uh, thank you for uh, bringing that to our attention today. Thank you for your yeah. tip and your wisdom. Thanks for being here, Patrick. Thank you. Patrick talked about our brains and talked about our guts. And of course, the pathway from one to the other um, includes the heart. So let us just pause for a moment, take a deep breath and be grateful um, to feel grateful from our hearts to be alive this Tuesday. May the work that we do today help reduce suffering in the world. May our efforts today help repair the world. May we fiercely and compassionately advocate for our clients and champion their stories. I'm going to ring a bell three times now. This can take you into a meditation practice, a prayer practice, or just remind you, it's Tuesday. Wake up, go out, do good things, and have fun while you're doing it.